So, despite the fact that I have quite a few things that I need to do and I'm not doing at the moment, I'm going to talk about uh, Every Other Day by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. It was actually not what I was expecting. Like, when I read the summary, I'm like, okay, that doesn't really sound all that interesting, but it looks kind of interesting at the same time, so I'll go get it from the library and read it. And it was at my library, it was on the library's uh, ebook page, so I just got it there because nobody else had requested it, and I'm like, oh, okay, I can just read it right away. Um, next thing I know, I finished this book in like two days. So it was, um, it wasn't what I was expecting, but it was better. So, I mean, that's good, I think. I mean, I, I guess the only bad thing is that the summary was really misleading for me. I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know if I just read it wrong or whatever, but I just, I don't know. When I read that summary, I'm like, eh, okay, uh, a monster hunter thing. It looks kind of interesting, and I read the book, and suddenly she's, like, this vampire-human hybrid thing, and I'm like, oh, okay. And she... And she actually remembers, like, she has the memories from her human days and her, um, monster hunter days. Like, she actually remembers, and I guess from the summary when I was reading it, she didn't remember the each days, which I guess really wouldn't make a lot of sense. But, I mean, I don't know. As I said, I either read it wrong or the summary was misleading. But, um, it was, it was actually pretty good. I, I mean, um, she kind of befriends this psychic girl and she saves this other girl from dying and, um, I mean, she just, she keeps going, like, even when she's human, she, she doesn't stop. I, I think maybe it's because she doesn't know how, like, even on her human days, she's, she's still, I hate monsters, I, I, I need to kill them all or whatever, but the drive isn't as bad. So, it just, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know how to describe it, really. It's, I mean, after she saves the cheerleader, she ends up having this psychic mental connection with um, this other guy who's been trapped in a laboratory and been experimented on for god knows how long. Um, and, you know, and she's just like, who, who are you? Why are you telling this, telling me this? Why are you helping me? And then, and then somehow she ends up finding out that he has been trapped in this laboratory and experimented on. So, I mean, then she's just like, oh, okay, well, let's plan a jailbreak. And she goes with a few of her friends, and one ends up dying, and the other two run away, and she just goes in and tears that place apart. Um, she ends up finding out um, that her entire life was an experiment. She was made from the DNA of another um, non-human being and mixed with 
human D DNA to see, you know, if they could mix it. And her mothers don't realize uh, that puberty was the trigger. So her second mother was, you know, always in the laboratory and her father knew nothing about it. Um, and her birth mother, the one who carried her to term or whatever, kind of left before she could hit puberty. So they never knew what she was. Um, until she goes and leads that jailbreak to break the other guy out. And it's just like, hey, you're not going to be tortured anymore. <laughs> um, so I just, I don't know. I mean, it was, it was good, but um, I probably won't buy it. 